Molly Wellman is exhausted. The mandates from Governor Mike DeWine leave a lot of uncertainty for her bar, Japs. I don't know what uh, is, I don't want know what's going to happen from one day to the next. I don't know what statistics to read anymore. Governor Mike DeWine now wants to stop liquor sales at 10 p.m. with consumption stopping at 11. Hi guys, how are you? Japs already closes at 10, but Molly is worried about her industry friends. She says bars can control the spread. We can, you know, police like, hey, wear a mask. Um, we need you to social distance. Hey, please stay seated. Um, making sure that all the surfaces are clean. You know, all of these things and these procedures are so we can control the space and make sure that people aren't close enough to con contract it. Look, we do not want to shut down Ohio bars and restaurants. Uh, that would be devastating to them. But uh, we do have to take some action and see what kind of what kind of results we get from from this action. While disappointed, bar owners say they saw this coming. After Kentucky shuttered bars for 14 days and Columbus tried to set a curfew of 10 p.m., they knew the entire state of Ohio was next. But that doesn't ease the blow. There's certain people in certain parts of the government that are um, using restaurants and bars as scapegoats. Jose Salazar owns three restaurants. He fears he's next. He also says the governor's order may have the opposite effect of its intention. This new order could actually promote more of that, more of the partying, because if you're saying to yourself, well, I can't go to the bar, I'm just going to get a couple bottles of booze. Why don't you guys all come to my house and we're going to have a big old party? While Jose and Molly understand health and safety are key, they both say they wish the governor would crack down on those violating the orders already in place instead of punishing everyone else. There's just a few bars, like you can count on your hands, in the whole state who are not following the procedures, the safety procedures. And I just don't understand why we can't just, you know, have this, this can't just affect them. It has to affect us who are really struggling. Walter Smith Randolph, Local 12 News.